If your only source of news happened to be Elon Musk's Twitter feed, you'd be forgiven for thinking his Starship test launch in Boca Chica, Texas the other day concluded with a total and unqualified success. Mars, here we come, Musk merrily tweeted, despite the fact his precious multi-million dollar spaceship had just spectacularly detonated all over the landing zone. Successful ascent, switch over to header tanks and precise flap control to landing point, Musk nonetheless enthused, even as his unmanned 16-story rocket was smouldering hotly in a South Texas crater. Today, we'll briefly be looking at why Elon Musk is so chirpy about the crash and explaining why SpaceX SN8 was a success regardless of its final outcome. To start off, let's look into what the test launch was hoping to achieve in the first place. Earlier this week, SpaceX released a statement declaring that this suborbital flight is designed to test a number of objectives from how the vehicle's three Raptor engines perform and the overall aerodynamic entry capabilities of the vehicle, including its body flaps, to how the vehicle manages propellant transition. On previous SpaceX landings you'll most likely have watched, Musk's rockets, usually the company's workhorse Falcon 9s, descend vertically from quite high up in the sky. However, as Starship is substantially bigger and heavier than Falcon 9 and designed to travel a lot faster, a less fuel-intensive approach is necessary for slowing down and landing. Engineers therefore designed the Starship in such a way that it descends, unpowered except by gravity, on the horizontal axis, thus using atmospheric pressure as a fuel-efficient brake and saving precious weight in the rocket's fuel tanks. For the final stage of the Starship SN8 test flight, its three mighty Raptor engines were supposed to fire, returning the rocket to its vertical orientation before gliding smoothly-ish down to Earth. So what went wrong? Not very much, actually. The rocket appeared to indeed reach its target altitude of around 8 miles, then reorient itself into the horizontal or belly flop position during its descent as planned. SN8 also successfully readjusted to the vertical, more or less anyway, right before the planned landing. Eagle-eyed observers noted that the Raptor engine's flame turned green shortly before the rocket touched down. Expert commentators have suggested this might have been a result of the Raptor engine's suffering from fuel starvation, making the copper engine nozzles burn up instead of the liquid methane and oxygen mix they prefer to work with. Back on Twitter, Elon Musk seemed to agree with this analysis, stating fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn. Musk concludes, with fairly heroic levels of understatement, that this likely caused touchdown velocity to be high. And Musk ended that same tweet on a characteristically positive note, saying, but we got all the data we needed. Congrats, SpaceX team, hell yeah. Even the explosion was uncannily accurate, in Musk's eyes anyway. As he put it, putting the crater in the right spot was epic. To Elon Musk's credit, he'd previously admitted the odds of avoiding a crash, or in his immortal turn of phrase, a rapid unscheduled disassembly, on this flight was somewhere around a slim third. At least it happened on the right spot, SpaceX's online fans were quick to point out, suggesting Musk's equipment, mostly, performed better than it might otherwise have done. Crucially, nobody was hurt, thanks to a five-mile perimeter exclusion zone around the landing site. And it's worth restating that, up until this flight, no Starship prototype had flown any higher than about 150 meters above the Boca Chica shipyard where these futuristic new craft are being developed. So a big positive to take from the SN8 launch is that the fuel-saving aerodynamic belly flop technique works, up to a point at least. Crashes are, of course, part and parcel of the process of technological development with rockets. It's probably a bit embarrassing for Elon Musk that this happened on such a high-profile launch, but we can be certain he'll learn his lessons and funnel that all-important data he mentioned into the next Starship test launch, the so-called SN9 prototype, already reportedly in an advanced state of completion in the workshops of Boca Chica. For the record, prototypes SN9, SN11 and all the way up to SN16 are slated for launch in the coming month, so it's early days indeed. Ultimately, Ultimately, space fans should take heart. In just a few short years, you can bet your life we'll all be watching a starship not so different from SN8 arrive on the barren surface of Mars. Let's hope Musk manages to iron out those minor kinks on the landing first, though.